lot of people like to have an open floor plan and they don't know if they have load bearing walls versus non load bearing walls. This is something. This is something that architects and engineers are well suited to be able to tell you and uh, average person should not be taking walls down if they do not know if they are load bearing or non load bearing. Let's see. So we have here, we have two walls that come together. One is non load bearing and one is load bearing. So we can tell the difference of the load bearing wall because we have the main joists for the upstairs that run across and they sit on the top plate of the load bearing. You don't want to remove this wall because then there will be no support for anything upstairs and that would be extremely dangerous. However, if you look over here, this is a non load bearing wall here because there's nothing above it. The whole top plate is not attached to the framing whatsoever and it is not holding anything up upstairs. So this wall is non load bearing and this wall don't expect the average homeowner to know this, which is why we have engineers and architects to be able to tell or a well-placed contractor.